My gosh. It is a lovely day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the middle of the former collapse of the Mayan Empire here in Bacalar, Mexico. So before I get ready for my evening's <clears throat> margarita here on this lovely Tuesday, February 7th, 2023, I want to thank Alert listener uh, Rusty, is it Pickard or Rusty Pickard? I think Rusty might be uh, sick of medium digest because he has sent me a new a new depository of doom uh, after all these years I have never heard of this place called the Titanic Lifeboat Academy and good lord I, here's a whole nother bottomless pit of doom and gloom and chronicles of the collapse so uh, <clears throat> I guess one of the, when you start going down all the rabbit holes, there, this woman, this doomer chick, I have never heard of this doomer chick, named Karen, that's with a C, C-A-R-E-N, Black. Karen Black, never heard of this doomer chick. So she has her own, her very own piece of the Titanic Lifeboat Academy, called the Teo Lockey Times, and I think any Doomer knows what Teo Lockey means. I don't need to tell you. So, uh, Karen Black, this is going back a couple of months, <clears throat> and her essay, Hello Collapse. Hello Collapse. <clears throat> Tensions, depression, anxiety, over-consuming, think food, addictions, sleep disorders, suppressed anger. These are inner, often unrecognized, simmering beneath the surface, causing us to run faster just to stay <coughs> where we have been. We try those places, activities, friends that brought us relief before the activities and friends have changed and there's a sign in the window closed out of business what pop a pill try a glass of wine or a margarita <clears throat> a cup of cocoa a good workout sex sex Sex. Try sex. I have some vague recollection before I became a doomer. Vague recollection. Try sex. Huh. Forgot what the word means. <clears throat> what is your crutch of choice? How about resigning? There you go. Not resigning to as in gritting what's left of one's teeth and just getting through it, but resigning from, as in not playing anymore, also known as the only winning move is not to play. For two decades, or basically since those props like religion, positive social culture, and spirituality which staved off the onset of maturity fell by the wayside one by one I have known about collapse with a capital C it's had many names and forms I like her first one overpopulation hmm Collapse has had many names and forms. Number one, overpopulation, followed by environmental destruction, peak oil, dwindling resources, war, financial crash, all members of the family, really, all causes 
of the same great correction, i.e. collapse, which of course is what collapse is. It is the great correction. <clears throat> Regardless of terminology, the collapse concept becomes a type of personification, an entity, a thing, an event. Western culture being big on instant but not so big on process must make its propaganda iconable, marketable, priceable, appable, an event processes tend to escape the Western attention span. You know, this is why I get so sick of people like, when, when is this great event going to happen? And I say, talk to a Mayan Indian selling little plastic bauble trinkets made in China to rich gringo tourists in the uh, middle of their former empire and maybe you can understand what this woman is talking about. Collapse is not an event with a date on it. It is a process that we are in the middle of. <clears throat> But anyway, I'm getting off on my own rant. Let's get back to this Doomer chick, Karen. Where were we? Processes tend to escape the Western attention span. <clears throat> so, in my attempt to prepare for collapse, I used what I saw, saw as advent to, a, to do a lot of pretty good things. Failing to wrap my head around process, I still expected a thing, an event, a whiz-bang culmination of all my preparation. But what I am seeing instead is a washing machine that lasts a third as many years as it should have. <clears throat> A pair of shoes I like, which no longer exist when I try to replace them. I bought this pair of shoes the day I was born. I bought this pair of shoes the day I was born. They are six, I have had this pair of shoes for 63 years. And you know, for being 63 years old, they're actually in pretty good shape. So maybe, uh, Maybe Karen wants to buy a pair of these shoes. Anyway, where were we? <clears throat> a computer that schedules my workday according to when it begins an update during which I am not allowed to shut it down. <clears throat> Friends whose memories for dates and phone numbers have been permanently transferred to their newest wearable carcinogenic EMF emitting pinhole worldview inducing expensive self-administered state surveillance and control device otherwise known of course as a smartphone. I am seeing, or rather not seeing so much, friends for whom I must remember their preferred method of contact. Text, voice, email, etc., etc., and it's no longer published access code so that I can leave a message for them to get back to, get back to me if they check their messages. People who used to be open and tolerant now openly and expressly hate people they do not know and have never met because they're told to. They think it signals virtue and I think it signals psychosis. 
But obviously, they're not concerned. George, whoever George is, in his inimitable prescience, nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Duh. Hello, Collapse. You're not a big, splashy future event, are you? You're already here. And you are a million little events adding up. You are a whole lot of unraveling, patching, bickering, tearing, tearing, and disappearing, aren't you? And you've hung around long enough now that we can begin to see you. This isn't prelude to some dystopian future, nor will things get back to what they were. There may be a crescendo to some final blowout or satisfying bang. More likely, this is the whimpering end. Hey, Collapse! Sorry I didn't recognize you before. I'm glad I finally did. There you go. Thank you, Karen Black, for uh, explaining this. Uh, I wish I had read this before my soft white underbelly interview. Uh, you know, where I just told me, you know, we were on Skid Row, and I just told Mark, hey, look out your damn window. Hey, we're on Skid Row. And, you know, looking for collapse. Uh, I, I, I guess maybe these videos from Turkey, is, is that what uh, these normies, when they hear us doomers, us collapsitarians talking, do they, do they think we have some picture of some video from Turkey today for, for the whole planet? Uh, good God. Uh, everywhere I look. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap up today's chronicle of the collapse and go fight my way through a an overpopulated uh, pack of survivors of the last collapse that happened on the uh, shore of this lake a few centuries ago to uh, fight my way to an end times margarita while I still can before the whole shit show comes down again. I highly suggest you come down to Bacalar, Mexico and do the same while you still can. Bye, guys.